science technology, if you look to history um, and the present and will be the future, you can see science technology innovation is the key driver and the main tool for economical growth and strength. And uh, we're not going to invent the wheel, but is the, is the evidence around us with the most advanced country, the one that have uh, innovation in their core and investment. Uh, we buy our cars, medicine, you know, we send our children for education in the most advanced country. Why? Because they believe in innovation, they invested, and they were brave to really put so much money and effort to that. So uh, I think um, from that we can see evidence in, our, uh, in front of our eyes. And also countries that don't have even the resources like Finland, South Africa, Singapore. They made it so much in, in the most advanced country by concentrating and focusing in two elements, education and innovation. And that's why we are focusing on the same, because we face many challenges. Uh, famine, uh, we, we are now more over 7 billion. Uh, even the, the market crash is uh, uh, giving us that the way we do business is being questioned. So how can social innovation or innovation can improve our lives? How can science improve our lives? Yes, it, it can. And that's why we are really putting fund as one of the tools to implement and to em empower the communities to go far and to be economically independent. One of the key things they need fund, and then also we're not doing only fund, we're doing the whole package. We're doing uh, training, we're doing uh, protection of IP, we're doing entrepreneur skills, we're doing mentorship, which is a crucial. We're doing a business uh, understanding, because a lot of inventors don't understand how, how the technology will be, can go far in terms of businesses. What do they need? Uh, what type of investor uh, do they have to have? And so on. So we're providing the whole package for the SMEs uh, to help them in their journey and to be well protected. It's going to be through the Islamic financial model and it's one of the best financial models in the world. We just held the Sukuk Summit in London and, uh, you know, and people will have reached to 30 million people and by far everybody now, and even in London, have 20 back doing Islamic finance. The Islamic finance, it means we share risk and we share prosperity. We don't over speculate and we are uh, linking to real assets so people won't be not, you know, harmed in terms of doing the business with finance.